So these are the 900 megahertz antenna. Uh, these will be what we're using for the main controllers on uh, each of the vehicles. This is how we're going to be controlling the vehicles to cut down, and we're also going to be getting uh, additional telemetry through them. So we'll right. be getting GPS coordinates. This is the balloon launch bag. So Jill is placing the tear panel or the rip panel, which is like a tongue of uh, fabric that holds wait, the wait, balloon wait. in. At the moment of launch, yeah. uh, someone will pull Not the far. string, which uh, pulls that rip panel all the way off, that. opens the bag up, and the balloon no. is allowed to float up rather quickly. Uh, just a quick question. Yeah. Uh, where should we have the uh, the ties? I think about where you're standing is a good angle. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's going to change that. Once it, starts, once it gets full, you're going to have to re reposition it. That's anyways. right, we did. Did, did yeah. we move them out? Yeah. Okay. We <laughs> might want to start more in that position then, Emmett. You want to kind of get a handle well, on that? I think that initially we should just leave it. Don't you put anything in there. Just just let it wait, and then we'll see once it starts to get, you know, gets full. Yeah. Then we can check the tension on it and place it there. So. That's, that's, I think that's what we'll do then. I'm feeling good. Yeah? Always get to the MC right about now. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you feel the launch is going to be with the chair under the balloon? The, More of a challenge for you? with the boom is going to be the challenge. To yeah. prevent the boom from striking. Because right. you're going to have to let go of the vehicle because they're not six feet, they're not actually right. 10 feet tall, yeah. before the boom is clear of the ground. There's going to be someone on the ground guiding the boom, and someone guiding the chair is the same, the same way. Right. And hopefully we'll fall up evenly and not trip over each other. Connected. That rigging is confirmed anyway. I confirmed the rest of the rigging. Okay, okay. I'm in the uh, rigging. Done. Okay. All right. Mark time. Rolling and recording DAX. Stand by. Speed on eight. Stand by. Speed on seven. I'm sealing the box. That's both cameras on, Todd? Yep. Seven and eight on. Seal recorder box. Sealing her up. Austin, you want to get it pulled straight and get ready? Finish that page, flip okay. it over to the next Everybody's going to lay down, right? But whoever should be up, that should go. What? Whoever should be that should go. Yeah, we just stop there. We, we have to get the go from you. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I'm rolling. Is mission control go? Mission control is go. Verify both standards. Covers removed, Todd. You want to do the string thing again? Todd? Go for it. You asked Cap to remove and we're ready to go. Todd. go? Clear? 
Is it falling? About 10,000 feet a minute. Wow. So that'll be down in five minutes, basically. Yep. Uh, a few the, minutes. The first, the first jump is really fast. It goes to yeah. about one before the crash begins. Oh, so it's going to break the speed. Oh, yeah. It's already going to speed of sound right now. Yeah. Because it's vacuum. And there's nothing really to see. How long do you reckon before it hits the ground? No. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, from explosion, 20 minutes. From about now. From about now, 20 minutes. Yeah. And uh, by west, it's 119 degrees. 23.131 minutes. to circle around the outside. Okay, what direction we should be in? We should be heading in that direction. Okay. If we're going slowly by compass point. Okay, so let's so let's go ahead and spread out then. So we're going this way now? Yes. Yeah. And you can see the truck, keep an yeah. eye on that and Gerlach, and that should be your bearing marks. Ah. You know something missing though? 35 minute hike through the Nevada desert in the middle of the afternoon is, um, let's just say we found it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. This has just been into space. So you guys are basically filming it for diagnostic reasons? Yes. Well, also for our. Okay. Historical, yeah. 